I've come to the Institute of Sound and Vibration Research at the University of Southampton to experience it for myself. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a great space. This is an anechoic chamber, a room where all surfaces, walls, ceiling and floor, absorb rather than reflect sound waves. And that's so unusual. Anechoic comes from the Greek, ana meaning without, choic meaning echo, so without echo and absolutely dead, nothing. I'm here to meet Professor Filippo Farsi. Filippo, nice to meet you. Hi, Roy, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Institute of Sound and Vibration Research. Thanks for having me. Filippo is an expert in the science of directional sound. Oh, and what's this? What we have here is a loudspeaker array, so it is a device that includes 24 identical loudspeakers and we're going to use them not to make a louder sound but to create some very interesting interference of waves in space. So if you could stand over there. Right, there we go. I'm going to generate now three different sound beams, one directed towards the centre, one directed toward the left and another one directed toward the right and each sound beam will deliver an independent audio signal. So you're going to tell me what you hear, feel free to walk around and experience this demo. Ready? Yep, ready. Let's go with the sounds. Oh, music. Here we've got some strings and piano. Pretty loud classical music. Oh. Bit of R&B. Completely different sound. Wow, OK. Back to the classical. And then here, folk. This is really strange. It's like I've just walked through three rooms and each one is playing different music. When sound leaves a speaker, it travels out in a widening cone shape, so playing different tracks in the same room should be cacophonous. That's amazing. I can't hear the other music at all. But the signals driving this array of speakers are designed so that the sound waves each generate either combine to create louder sounds or cancel each other out to create quiet zones. It's a technique known as beamforming. It's a completely different party here to here. As the room isn't reflecting sound back, I'm hearing the effect in its purest form. That's really impressive. Is there a place where you can imagine this replacing headphones? Yes, yes. One of the most interesting ones that we are working on now is in a car environment. So ideally, the holy grail of this technology is to create independent sound zone for every person sitting in the car. So, for example, whilst the driving is, a driver is having a phone call, the passenger could listen to some music and on the back seats, the kids could watch a movie. So in fact, you can have four people all listening to something different. Exactly. But Filippo and his team aren't stopping at in-car entertainment. They're also working on a system that could allow my personal sound bubble to travel around with me. So what you see here is a loudspeaker array, now includes in this case seven loudspeakers, but it also has a little camera in here. Hello. <laughs> so what is really interesting now is that the camera is tracking where you are, and more specifically, it follows your ears and knows exactly where your ears are. That's the little red marks. Yes, exactly, exactly. We are now combining computer vision together with the beamforming technology we you experienced earlier on. But instead of sending sound beams in a different position to space, we are sending independent sound to your left and right ear. OK, I'm ready. Let's, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm in Jurassic Park. <laughs> this is very disconcerting. <laughs> One just came close to me. <laughs> wow. In everyday life, our ears pick up on various differences that allow us to judge where sounds are coming from by registering the different times it takes for sound from a single source to reach each ear. That's very strange. This ear tracking technology is delivering the same 3D stereo sound sensation even when I move. If I was to duck and swoop quickly, the sound does not change. The sound isn't just here, it's also here and here and down there and all around me. That's incredible. How was it that I could hear you know, a dinosaur on the floor, one up behind me, yet 
all the speakers are directly in front of me. Well, if you think about it, we hear with our two ears. So if you are capable of delivering the correct signal to your left ear and the correct different signal to your right ear, then you can create any acoustic illusion. This technology is called binaural sound. This phenomenon can be achieved with headphones, as different signals can be directed into our left and right ears via an earpiece. But incredibly, I'm experiencing the same effect without the need to wear any. It really was as close to a headphone type experience as I've ever had without wearing headphones, in that it was like something's going in the left, something's going in the right, and it's completely all-encompassing surround sound type experience, very intimate, yet I can also still hear the room. This, we believe, is the future of headphones, which is having headphones without wearing headphones. That is impressive. <laughs> More. The remarkable combination of directional sound paired with the tracking tech could transform portable sound as we know it. I mean, imagine if it was a brooch or something you just wore like a necklace, very delicate, discreet, yet provided this localised sound bubble around your head. It would be amazing. This really shows what the future holds for personalised audio.